So yeah, so let me do it with the Juma notation here because I think uh, uh, there are some things that's uh, good for uh, us to look up. Because uh, it, it's uh, the question wording encodes certain bits of information that's really easy to miss unless you uh, recognize it from matching sections. So, you know, it's asking about far point. It's somehow telling you about relax the power. And um, it, uh, so you should have this image of the eye in mind that, um, so, you know, if this is our eye, um, imagine there's a kind of a lens in the front of the eye and imagine there's a screen where a real image forms uh, due to this lens of the eye. And you have uh, some kind of object some distance away and the light rays from this object get to uh, um, get to refract the, through the lens of the eye and for the purpose of ray diagram i'm gonna uh, you know follow the usual convention and draw the ray diagram um, with the rays that don't they don't actually the principal rays they don't actually have to go through the lens uh, they, they are only used to help us locate the uh, locate the image here. Uh, somehow they worked out. Um, so, so that's a kind of how it works. And with the, your functioning of your eye, what gets fixed is what they're telling you here, lens to retina distance. So this image distance is what's fixed as the eye functions as it should, forming a focused image on the retina. And when the object moves back and forth, that's where, um, um, so as, as this object distance changes, what changes so in order to keep this image distance the same is the focal length. And that's what this whole relaxed thing is referring to. When your eyes are strained, then your focal length gets a short, focal length of the lens gets a shorter. When the eyes are relaxed, then the focal length of the, um, lens gets uh, longer. So when they are telling you it's a relaxed power, they're telling you the state of the lens of the eye is to um, is to put the the, um, the object distance uh, to the farthest point that uh, you, you, this eye can focus on. And for a normal eye, this object distance would approach infinity, uh, so that. Uh, with the relaxed lens of the eye, it focuses on the retina uh, with a far away object. But uh, I th I'm assuming this question is describing a nearsighted person. So hopefully this uh, far point is um, uh, non-zero, sorry, non-negative finite quantity. And the final piece that I'm almost not fully remembering <laughs> is what they're calling diopter. Uh, let me take a guess at it. So I do happen to know that power is related to one over the focal length. So shorter focal length means greater power. So when they say 50.7 diopter, what I don't quite fully remember is the unit of diopter. It could mean one over a meter, <laughs> but in the very likely case that I'm misremembering, let me see here, intersection of the eye, definition of optical power, and the unit diopter. So yeah, so that's why this link is there. Let me just go to that <laughs> and read it. <laughs> or, you know, search for the correct bits of information um, to make sure that I, um, no, I have a correct one here, and if not, then I'll correct it. Uh, scroll down, down, down. Uh, okay, yeah, power is one over focal length. I do remember that. Oh, yeah, diopter, okay. It, it is one over a meter. Okay, that's great. Then um, then I think I can... So this is the rewritten thin lens equation. So, so okay. So I think uh, I have enough now to do this correctly for sure. So, um, so th this is the e equation that you are working with. You are still working with the thin lens equation. So let me write down the thin lens equation. One over the object distance plus the one over the image distance is equal to, now what we are normally working with the one over focal length um, in this context of dealing with the eyes and 
of maybe eye uh, eyeglasses <laughs> where we are using the unit of diopter. Then, um, then we use this uh, uh, power uh, that's uh, equal to one over focal length. So I'll replace that with the power of the eye. So I have one equation here. Uh, they have given us the diopter value. They have given us the image distance plus two centimeter. And because the diopter is in the unit of one over meter, in this question, I will convert the centimeter to meters because um, we are not, we don't conveniently have everything in one unit. So basic SI unit is kind of the default choice. So the one piece of information we don't have is the object distance. And that's what they are calling far point. That's uh, in this uh, arrangement that they're describing where the object should be to form this uh, focused image. That's the far point. So let me solve for this here. I guess I need to move this over and then take the reciprocal. And when I've done that, my object distance is the reciprocal of um, D minus one over image distance. And normally I would simplify, but I can see that nothing here is going to yield a beautiful algebraic expression. So let me just plug in the numbers and <laughs> get a numerical value that I can check for the answer. So, so and as I'm plugging in the numbers, I'll convert the units so that, um, so that I don't make a unit mistake. So diopter, that's one over meters. So I can just put it in as it is, 50.7 diopter or one over meter minus one divided by, now I'm using this image distance, but that two centimeters, I need to put in 0 0.02 meter, 0 0.02 meter. So that'll give me good positive value. <laughs> so uh, if it's negative, that would have given some issue. So positive is good. Let me take the reciprocal of that. Oh, I can do it this way, store this into, memory and one divided by memory recall. So 1.43 meters is the answer here. And uh, so this person must be a uh, pretty uh, nearsighted because um, that, uh, <laughs> that's pretty close and that's the, that's the farthest that this person can see. Uh, this, they probably need a fairly uh, high powered, uh, and high powered, um, uh, uh, high powered uh, uh, eyeglasses in order to see things that are far away. Now, uh, you, one thing you can see from these expressions is imagine you wanted this far point to be um, uh, really far away, like infinity away. Then what you want is you want uh, this to be. Oh, wait, so you can't just uh, say zero diopter. I think uh, there's uh, some kind of uh, nominal diopter that normal I should have. Let me just check that. One divided by 0 0.02. So, oh, that is interesting. So if this uh, person's, uh, uh, Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, focal length of point uh, two. Yeah, I guess that's right. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not an ophthalmologist, so it's not. Uh, this is not my area of expertise. But uh, you know, a good chunk of this question is basically translating some of the unusual information that's given into. Um, into the language that we are more used to using for other optical things. 